sentencing today for one of the three teens accused of starting a fatal house fire in Green Valley Ranch in 2020. 19 year old Gavin Seymour was sentenced to four decades in prison for the murders of five Senegalese family members. Denver 7's Rob Harris was in the courtroom as loved ones of the victims spoke to the judge. A 40 year sentence was the maximum available to the judge under Gavin Seymour's guilty plea. The loved ones of the five people killed in this attack were asking the judge for that maximum sentence, but they also told us they've been praying for an even harsher penalty. We got the max that we could get today, but it's not the max that we want and that we deserve. For the loved ones of the five people killed in this deadly attack in 2020, every day since has been agony. This is not justice. If I could get death penalty or life sentence, that's, that's what would be uh, justice. These men were among the many who spoke before the judge ahead of her sentence of Gavin Seymour, who pleaded guilty to second degree murder for his role in setting the deadly house fire in 2020. Seymour was among three, then teenagers, who mistakenly thought the home was the location of a stolen cell phone. No cameras were allowed inside the courtroom, but loved ones of the victims told the judge the attack has not only shattered their lives, but also destroyed trust in the Senegalese immigrant community in our justice system. I'm impacted by it. Our community's impacted by it. This man can't even function anymore. His father can't even function. They don't even know what they're living for. Many loved ones and supporters of Seymour spoke in court as well, asking for a lighter sentence, including caseworkers who have interacted with him while incarcerated and say he's been a model inmate working to better himself. Seymour himself spoke last before he was sentenced. He apologized for his part in the attack and said if he could trade places with the victims, he would. He asked for the judge to consider all of his actions and life in her decision, but he also said he would accept whatever judgment she came to. While Seymour was sentenced to the full 40 years available under his plea, prosecutors pointed out that under Colorado law, those convicted as adults for crimes they committed when they were minors are able to apply for parole after serving 20 years. Victims' loved ones would be alerted in that event. He killed my wife and my daughter and my life. He destroyed my life. He destroyed our lives. Those loved ones tell us they were praying in court. As they honor Ramadan, they pray to be better people themselves and for continued justice. Our good faith as Muslims, uh, we believe in Allah and we, we believe in the, the judgment day. The judge has also ordered restitution to be paid to the victims in this case for not only the damage to the house and that fire, but also for this court process. The prosecution is seeking more than $700,000, but defense attorneys have 30 days to appeal that amount. Reporting for Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. Two other teenagers, Kevin Bowie and Dylan Siebert, were also accused of setting that fire. Siebert pleaded guilty to second degree murder and was sentenced to seven years in prison. The case against Bowie is still pending.